Hi guys, welcome to my Chinese watch collection. My name is Aviv. If it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and maybe check out some more videos I made. My channel is all about uh, affordable watches and I do watch reviews and give you some tips about taking care of your watches and about shopping AliExpress. So maybe you'll find something you like. I decided to hold my first giveaway on my channel to celebrate reaching 500 subscribers, which is a big milestone for me, and to celebrate the new year 2020 and the new decade. I really want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel and everybody who watches my videos. And uh, to show my gratitude, I'm holding this giveaway of the infantry watch. Stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can win this watch. So today I'm going to have an unboxing and a review of an infantry watch. Let's get right into it. We have a user manual. Everything you need to know. A warranty card. And the watch is right here. It's an infantry field watch. Comes on a NATO strap. I think it looks pretty sharp. Okay, so guys, like always, I'm going to pause the video at this point. I'm going to walk around with the watch for a couple of days and then I'll get back to the review part of the video. Okay guys, so this is it, the Infantry IN083, like I said, it's a military style field watch, comes in two different colors you can choose from, this black one and an army green one with an army green PVD coated case and an army green NATO strap, it is quartz movement operated, it looks pretty sharp. Let's take it off the cushion and take a closer look at it. Okay, so first look, you can see that the watch case and the hardware on the supplied NATO strap are all blacked out with PBD coating. Taking a closer look at the watch face, there's a lot going on on the dial. It's a classic field watch design. You can find this kind of design on Hamilton watches and uh, other brands that make military watches. Everything on the dial is printed. There's a minute check going around the dial with loomed arrowheads every five minutes. We have one to 12 on the middle circle and on the inner circle, 13 to 24. So you have a 24 hours dial. We have fence pole hands, uh, which are loomed. And the tip of the second hand is painted in red and also is a bit loomed. I will pop up a loom shot and you see that the loom is not very significant, it won't last for a long time. But at this price point I don't think you can expect much more than that. The case is aluminum alloy, which gives it a very light weight. The movement is a Japanese Hattori quartz movement. It is 30 meters water resistant and the crystal is stated on the seller's page as ice scratch resistant glass. Other than the three hands telling the time, we don't have any other complication. And we have the crown on the three o'clock position, put it out to set the time. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's take the watch off the NATO strap. First thing we can see when we take off the NATO strap is that between the lugs we have a fixed bar. That means that you can't take it out. And you can only put NATO straps uh, or Zulu straps or one pass straps 
on this one you can take the bar out and put a regular strap let's take a look at the back it is laser etched with some nice graphics the infantry logo with the eagle it says uh, infantry co ltd designed with passion stainless steel case back that's pretty much it and another thing you can see is when you take a look at the shape of the case the lugs go all the way underneath the case and that means that when you put the NATO strap in it sits flush on the NATO strap and not in any awkward uh, way or position that gives the watch a great wearability Okay, so let's check out the measurements for this watch. We'll start off with the weight. And it only weighs 38 grams. The width of the case is 35 millimeters. If you want to include the crown as well, it is 37.5. The distance between the lugs is 18 millimeters. So any 18mm NATO strap or a Perlon or a One Pass or a Zulu strap should fit this watch. The distance between lug tip to lug tip is 42mm. The thickness of the case, excluding the width of the NATO strap, is 9mm, pretty thin, thanks to the quartz movement. And if you want to include the NATO strap, and you probably should because you can't wear it without one, it's just a bit over 11 millimeters. Let's put it on my seven inch wrist and see how it looks. Okay, here it is. Again, I have a seven inch wrist for your reference. It is really lightweight. It has real compact measurements. The NATO strap wears very comfortable. You guys already know I like watches of all sizes, so I don't mind wearing a 42 millimeters watch or a 35 millimeters watch. I think you should judge every watch on how it wears and not the size on paper. I think this one wears very nice and it's really light and comfortable. All in all, I think it's a very nice field watch. Okay guys, so this is uh, the infantry watch. I like it, it's pretty nice. I have sort of a passion for army watches, for military watches, so I really like the, the field watch aesthetics. I only found two things I didn't like about this watch. The first is the crown, that seems really out of place, being small and silverish, as opposed to all the other stuff going on with this watch. And the second thing is the fixed bar between the lugs. That means you can only put NATO straps on it. Even though it is fairly historically accurate because many true military field watches had fixed rod between the lugs for the NATO strap. It does sit very well on top of the strap because of the lugs going all the way beneath the case. Um, great wearability, very comfortable, I probably said it a couple of times already. I like the PBD coating on the case and the hardware of the NATO strap, which is a decent quality NATO. And that's pretty much it. So you probably want to know how you can enter the giveaway and get a chance to win this watch. You only have to do three things. The first thing is subscribe to my Chinese watch collection YouTube channel. The second thing is like this video. And the third and final thing is drop a comment below so I know you are participating in the giveaway. The winner will be drawn on the last day of January of 2020 and will be announced on a dedicated video on my channel. The winner will have to contact me via email. 
and I will send uh, out this watch at my own expense. You can also follow me on Instagram, but you don't have to do that to join the giveaway. But if you're into watches and you are on Instagram, maybe you should check my uh, page and uh, hit the follow button. So good luck everybody, may the odds be ever at your favor. Have a happy new year and a great decade and I will see you next time.